Unfortunately, the U.S. Coast Guard calls it a catastrophic implosion of the vessel. They believe all five crew members have been lost. Um, they did find remnants of the pressurized hull down on the ocean floor, not too far from the remnants of the Titanic. Um, them finding that debris field early this morning. They say they have notified the families. Their thoughts and prayers now go to the families, but they continue to search for additional debris on the o ocean floor. Absolutely, and the timing, uh, really interesting here, because remember, they had told us that the submersible went missing on Sunday. It went out on Sunday, and they approximated there were four days of, of breathable mm -hmm. air. And now here we are um, today at, at the time when they knew that the air was going to, to run out. This is when they discovered this debris field. But it's something we're going to follow closely because, again, there's a, a, a man with ties to Peachtree um, Corners who was um, on that, Paul Henri Narjale, who was underwater research director for EM Group and also um, RMS Titanic Incorporated. So, you know, something that definitely hits close to home as well. The entire country has been talking about this. Make sure you stay with us here on Atlanta News First as we continue to follow this story as new developments come in. And there will be more as we learn more about this investigation, how this catastrophic implosion happened. We'll bring you those updates right here on the air and on our Atlanta News First app. Yes, and a 